Hey guys, welcome back to the north. Pretty nice day here, I tell you. The date today is August 4th, I believe it is. So, i uh, been pretty busy lately, and a lot of people have been sending me comments and emails and messages asking if I'm still alive, what was up, hopefully everything is good, but, uh, well, everything's good, man. Uh, thought I'd give you guys a quick update here. Uh, first time I've been back out to the cabin here in about a month. You know, it's pretty nice to be back out here. Uh, fall time's coming up here, and, and I'm already getting prepared. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a good fall time, I tell you. My favorite time of the year. So starting to cool off at nights and uh, getting a little cooler. So you know that's that's what I like to see. The bugs are dying down. So right on, man. It's uh, just about fall hunt time. Right here, I got a moose call that I made. It's I made it uh, a month ago or so. It's made out of spruce. Spruce root, that's what I use to weave the birch bark together. So I found a big enough tree, took some birch bark from it, uh, dug up some roots and, and made this nice moose collar. So I'm, I'm itching to get her tested out, huh? Anyways, I got big plans this fall, like I said. Uh, I'll do another series here, of course, you know, next month. In September that'll be. So I uh, hope you guys are looking forward to that. It won't be at Beaver Camp, and it won't be here. It'll be in a, a different location. I'll, I'll tell you that much for now. I'll, I'll talk more about it some other day, huh? But anyways, guys, just thought I'd let you know everything's good around here, and hope you guys are somewhere as good to you so far, and uh, me and Charlie are going fishing. Hey, guys. Pretty nice day here in the north today. Uh, this evening, I'm just out, me and Charlie, trying to catch a pike or two for supper. I don't know what the hell he's doing, digging rocks over there. Charlie, what did I tell you about fucking picking up rocks? You want to bust another tooth? Huh? That's always a chunk of gold, my boy. Leave it be. Anyways, so I'm going to throw my hook in the water here and try and catch, uh, like I said, a pike. Might even catch a walleye, who knows. I also have my GoPro here with me. I'll stick it under the water there and uh, we'll just see. Maybe get pick something up with that. I don't know yet. Uh, we'll find out shortly, guys. Well, that was the first cast with my white jig. You see here, I got my GoPro set up there. I was just casting in front of it, trying to get him to bite it in front. I don't know if I got him on there, but whatever. But you know, that's a nice, big, healthy looking pike. And that one is enough to feed me and Charlie tonight. Look at that. The old, uh, barely got him in the lip. My busted rod. Holy fuck, that is a big one. It's a nice one there, huh? There we go, man. There's supper. Set him there. I'll have to get my Charlie. Ain't going anywhere. Hey, get along. So we'll put him on the stringer here and we'll play around more. We know they're here. I want to get some on uh, underwater camera, man. Fucking A. It's a good night already. There we go, boy. There's our supper. That and a potato, we'll be laughing. There we go. Second cast there. Another nice big pike. He's uh, not as big as the one I kept up there. Oh, there we go. Hey, settle on, Charlie. You want to get an old hook in the lip again? Hey, get out of there. Back up. So this is catch and rele release. Now this guy I'll throw back. I just need one for supper, and we already got one. So now we're just going to fish for fun. There we go, man. There's a nice pike there. So just after I got the second fish there, uh, a couple of Albertans showed up. They're down there fishing their cowboy hats and all. I can tell right away, man, if you ain't from the north, I'll, I'll, I can fucking tell right now real quick. So I went and had a visit with them, chatted with them. They're just up to fish, you know, uh, tourist heading up to the, on the lake somewhere anyways. So I'm going to go back to the cabin, butterfly fillet this fish, potatoes. Me and Charlie are going to eat good tonight, guys. Well, that was fun anyways. Got a couple fish, a couple pike, uh, one nice size one and another nice size one. Got one there, I'm going to we'll get them filleted up here and me and Charlie will cook them up and do have a pike and baked potato. Fish and chips, huh? If you want to call it that. So it'll be good. First thing I'll do, I'll get my fire going anyways and get a good bed of coals and uh, then I'll clean that fish. 
once my fire is going. You see my garden didn't do too well this year. Uh, I ended up with one beet, it's not very big there. A few little pea plants, one big pea there, that's a good one. And a couple potato plants, the rest uh, never got watered enough and they all died. That's a shame, but whatever, as long as they got one good beet and this pea here, it's good man, it was all well worth it, huh? So as our fire's making good coals for cooking, I'll fill it up my fish here. Uh, I don't know, um, I was going to do a butterfly on him, but I don't know, uh, it's a pretty big fillet to flip butterfly, so we'll just do two separate fillips, fillets. I'll leave the scales on, and they'll go right on the grill on there with some spices and maybe an onion and some other good things. Yeah, this is a nice healthy looking pike, this one. Getting cleaned up in no time here. I like my uh, knife, knife sheath? Made that myself, you know. <laughs> I'm just fucking around, guys. It's okay. Get this guy cleaned up and get him on the fire here very shortly. I want to do a butterfly filly like I said, but I don't know, I'm just, I might cut her in two here. We'll just see. A lot of meat on here anyways. So I'll leave the scales on, of course he'll get deboned. Hey Charlie boy. You know what's going on, don't you? Oh yeah, Charlie knows what's happening here. Fish fry in the wild north, he's going. He likes that because he'll eat more of this fish than I will. This is good. side there. Oh look at that, that's a big filly in there man. Oh. So like I said there's a lot of ways to do this and this is one of the ways I always did it and just the way you learn huh. You know someone's got to usually teaches you how to do her and it's just the way your teacher shows you. You know, a lot of people, they don't even like eating pike. And, you know, there ain't nothing wrong with eating pike. Uh, it's just as good as any fish out there. I eat a lot of it, and I could cook pike up, and a lot of people wouldn't know the difference from, from a lot of fish, huh? This fillet knife's a little bit dull. I don't even know where this came from. I think my brother left it here. You see there, I left all the ribs on it, huh? There ain't much left off of the here, maybe a little bit off the back. You might be able to salvage. I don't know if you guys could see that or not, but then you're left with one, one nice butterfly filly. Now you take this filly and you just throw it right on your grate, huh? That's pretty good, you know. There ain't nothing wrong with that. That's actually a pretty nice, pretty nice fillet there. A lot of meat on here, you know. There's probably about four pounds of meat here, I bet. So we're taking out the Y bones here, you know, the, some people, uh, they do a real good job on her and they just, like, like a surg surgical work, so there's no, no waste on the meat, huh? I always was pretty sloppy at it myself. I just cut them out and, uh, yeah, just get the Y bones out. Sometimes I don't even take them out. So now we'll split these in two here. It'll just be easier to, to move them around on the grill, huh? It was a lot smaller, I could have left it just the just how it was, I would have kept it on two. Now I got my big fillet here. Leave that fin on there, that ain't gonna hurt anything because the scales are gonna stay on, huh? So it's gonna go on like that. But what I'm gonna do, I'm going to uh Clean off some of these scales here. You know, it's not bad getting one or two scales, but you want to be eating a whole bunch of them. I'm just going to cut some lines in it. 
It'll cook quicker, and then when it's cooked, you could just pick up, break them off with your hands, huh? Eat with your fingers. And when you put your lines in like that, you know, the uh, spices, whatever you're going to use on it, they really soak in. Soak in there good, you'll have a real good, good finished meal there, huh? Charlie's, I won't cut no lines in it. Uh, he'll just eat her just like that, it'll cook good. Cut her all the way to the skin. See how I got her all diced up there? That's how she's gonna go. Now I'm gonna season it here. I got I got some uh, Kansas City steak seasoning. It's all I really got. It's either this or salt and pepper. So this is, this is what she's gonna be tonight, boys. I'm sure it'll be just fine. Charlie's, he doesn't need no seasoning on his, he likes his just plain. Get that seasoning in there real good. Okay. They're ready for the ready for the fire. Okay, so this one's all seasoned. When I throw it on the fire there, I got my coals pretty much spread out. I'll throw, I'll throw all these onions here on the top of it. That'll be good. This one here, this is Charlie's. This one here will just go on just like that. Onions on there, and we'll let her cook. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be good, all right. This one's for you, my boy. Cook it for you first, so. Okay, just like that. That looks pretty good, huh? I could already see it's already starting to wrinkle up. She's already starting to slowly cook there, so it's gonna be good. Oh, well, that's a lot of heat on there. Oh, but that's hot. Oh, throw some potatoes down there. Okay. There we go. Okay, guys. Now it's just a matter of tending her little fire and sitting here enjoying the beautiful evening and uh, watch her fish cook. Fucking eat, man. Just about supper time, guys. Potatoes are done. You see that fish there is coming along pretty nicely. You see the one there, you can see it just bubbling down in there. Oh, too much smoke on that side. You can see her there, she's just cooking in there. You see, when you leave the skin on it, it, the juices don't have nowhere to go, so it sits underneath and it just fucking cooks, man. And it doesn't dry up. I'll throw all that juice on this one here, on Charlie's. Look at that. Ooh, that's fucking warm. Look at that. Big potato. And I don't know whatever you want to call that, outside fire cooked fish, uh, whatever, huh? <laughs> Once the potato cools down a little bit, she'll be uh, time for supper. And you see here, she's, see how she's all breaking apart there? You can see she's all coming apart in little pieces, the one I cut, so that's pretty much done, that one. Look at that, she's coming apart nicely. So you just bust off little chunks with your hands and Charlie's there, it's uh, looking pretty good. 
That's cooked just how he likes it. No uh, seasoning on it. Hey, my boy. Charlie, go find your dish. Come on. Go get your dish. Go get your dish. I'll feed you supper time. You left it over there somewhere. You left it over there. Go find it. Supper time, my boy. Go get it. Hurry up. I know. I'm excited, huh? I'm, I'm hungry too. Go find your dish. Hurry up. Bring it here. Hurry up, my boy. My hand. <laughs> it can cover in your eyes. Like it. Right, go on, pick it up. I'm not bending over for it. Charlie. Good job, my boy. Okay, let's get that fish off of there. Hold on, my boy. Hold on. careful because I don't want it to fall apart but with the scales on it it's uh keeps it all pretty keeps it all together huh look at that now you told me if that don't look good huh see barely even burn the bottom can't see her but it's looking pretty good look at that so this is how our supper is gonna be my boy don't worry, I'll take uh, the scales off yours. Yeah, that turned out pretty good, huh? Let's just see here. And you just pull off pieces. Look at that. Perfectly cooked. Fucking good. Oh, that's good. Okay. I'm going to make Charlie a dish here. He's waiting. So now you see when you uh, slow cook them like that, <clears throat> when you leave this, the scales on it, the skin, whatever, so all you're left with is uh, just the skin, like... The meat peels right off. You see the other side, it's just barely burned. And it keeps your meat from burning as well. So, you know, that's a nice way to... I like doing it like that. Uh, don't need tin foil or nothing. It just takes a little longer, that's all. Here you go, my boy. It is hot. Potatoes and fish, that's your favorite. You let it cool down now, you might burn yourself. That'd be no good, my boy. Okay, guys. It's supper time. <laughs> Just licking it. <laughs> Too hot to grab yet, my boy, huh? <laughs> he says, I'll just lick it for a bit. It'll be cool here soon. <laughs> we'll try out this supper here now. Still pretty hot. Some pretty good fish, man. You just pick off chunks with your uh, your hands and a dirty a spoon or a fork. It's a good way to do this, you know. If you're sitting around with a bunch of buddies or whatever, you don't want to dirty a bunch of dishes, or if you don't even got any dishes, you just got a fish and a fire. Just do it this way, huh? And when you cut your lines in like that, then you just Put your fillet out and everyone just eats off it, huh? It's a good way to do it, man. Baked potato and fish in the wild north. Waited too long, my potatoes got a little bit cold. That's alright though. Yeah, look at that. Never even burned it. Okay guys, I'm going to finish my uh, supper here and uh, talk to you guys another day.